to Rick's Radio Conversions. Uh, today we have uh, Kevin's 1976 Pontiac Firebird radio. Uh, Kevin's a repeat customer. Um, we've done quite a few radios for him actually, so we appreciate your, uh, your business, Kevin. Um, so this radio was uh, an AM, FM radio. Um, very unique. Uh, you don't see very many of these. Um, it has a uh, right and left channel, not a fader, so that's uh, full right. Let's get a better. That's right, left, right. And that's about null right there. Uh, no D10. So you gotta kinda just figure it out by feel there, by sound. Um, the other neat thing is this actually has a stereo light indicator. If you look right dead in the middle of the uh, the dial uh, indicator, uh, you'll see when you have a good stereo lock. Kind of cool. Very neat thing. So the way you switch uh, bands in this, and you can't see them very well because uh, they're they're rubbed off um, and they're actually almost. If somebody's gonna paint these, um, you probably would want to touch them because they're they're wore out pretty good. Um, but uh, on the ends, so even though this is a five push button radio, uh, you really only got four per channel. So this is FM. And this is AM. Not much on the AM band where I am. Not much. And, and then you could definitely use, if you liked AM and you had strong AM signals, these four. And then you plug uh, the, the, the one on the end, and that's your FM. So those are your uh, how the presets work. And we'll go down to the bottom of the dialer again. So this has uh, been converted to AM FM with aux input. Um, obviously, uh, this one only had two channels out uh, originally at about four watts. Now it's um, four channels out at 180 watts. So a uh, heck of a lot more power there for you. Um, tone works as it did before. That's uh, treble, bass. Um, to work your uh, virtual uh, fader, um, you're going to go 12 to 2. I'm doing this left handed. Fader adjust. That's full, full rear, full front. Set. And when we hear the kerplunk, that's when we know we have the uh, the null, and that's actually where the detent is as well. It has a detent for this guy here, which is very cool. Um, if you ever want to know what station you're on, even though you do have the FM log scale, uh, volume control three times, 12 to 2. FM 92.1. As you can see, very accurate. Uh, we're just, uh, just, just to the right a little bit of the 92. So very good uh, tuner, very crisp uh, tuner, and, and accurate as well. So we did fader and we did um, presets. Uh, so the other thing that the uh, new feature the new boards have is the um, is the uh, auto turn tune sequ search feature. So you're down here towards the bottom and you're going to go 12 to 2 on your tuner. Scanning for stations. And she's gonna scan away there. And we'll let it go a few stations. Watch the uh, the uh, stereo lock light. There you go. Thought that was very unique. I didn't see that until I took the radio apart. That's how small it is. It's just one of the log scales uh, kind of see through. We'll go one more. I 
So there you can hear something. Uh, there's no stereo lock. It's a faraway station. So we'll say we like that one. We're going to go ahead and grab the tuner. We already went there, I guess. There it is. Normally we get that station hold. These stations are so close together. I mean, you saw where we were. I think that's where it was. Um, you get the idea of how to do that um, with the station hold. The next thing we're going to do is the uh, the aux input. So uh, here's the aux cable, um, and uh, you're going to get one of the uh, it won't have a USB connector on it, but it'll have the uh, the aux input. And then you're just going to press play. If I can see phase. it there. In phase. In phase. Oh, I'll rewind this. Sleep on the right channel. There we go. Left channel. Left channel. Left channel. We'll let that go a couple times. Left channel. Right channel. Right channel. Right channel. And that's how that works. And we'll do right uh, we'll do channel. some music here. In phase. In phase. In phase. Remember, you're doing all your controls from the actual device. Uh, the good thing about Vox is um, if you, you know, you just turn your device on, it starts playing. Um, if you have an XM head unit and you turn that on, it just starts playing right away. You have to have a fooling with any controls about going off and on. But uh, that's kind of it. Um, and then if you want to, you know, go back. Uh, you just hit your, uh, hit your pause there on your device and uh, wait 10 seconds or you can go off and on again. And now you are back, back to your last known radio station. And uh, that's pretty much it. Um, once again, Kevin, uh, thanks again. I almost think we've done a, a Ford, a Mopar, a GM, and a now Pontiac. I mean, we're, we're getting almost all the makes here. Um, so once again, we thank you so much for your business. Uh, if you want your radio converted uh, like Kevin's, uh, please uh, go to richradioconversions.com. Uh, press the, uh, the email button there in the upper right hand corner uh, drop us a line uh, please don't call the phone number right now it's uh, inundated with um, warranties and I want to sell you something and I, I just don't have time to answer them all because for the fakes um, because uh, it's bad if you want to send me a text that's fine uh, but please don't be offended if I don't answer the phone just because uh, it's actually horrible I, I may even try and get a new number but once you have a number, it's been out there for a while, it's hard to change as well. Um, oh, and the last thing, uh, Kevin, so just make sure you, you knew this as well. So the, this is a little different. Uh, most of the high-end GMs, the Cadillacs, um, Oldsmobiles, and, and, and the Pontiacs, some of the Pontiacs, not many, uh, the indicator bulb is actually turned on by the headlights. So we've got it wired back into the original plug. Whoop, that was the wrong one. My apologies. Never ever turn your car off with the radio on, please. Sorry about that. So we'll turn off the lights. And there you go. It's kind of cool. You can really see the, uh, the stereo lock light there. Um, very cool. Anyway, thanks again, Kevin, for your business. We'll get this boxed up and shipped right back out to you here as soon as possible. Thanks again. Have a good day.